G'day, it's Mark here at Vanessa Mobile Camping and Combi Life. We've got Andre here today. Welcome, Andre, to, to visiting us today. Andre has arrived in a, in a fantastic T6 4 motion short wheelbase that has had some enhancements. Andre, let's have a look at it together. Yeah, sure. tell, tell me a little bit about it. Is it bamboo yeah, sure. green? Bamboo garden green, diff lock. It's got uh, four motion with diff lock. Four motion with diff lock, double sliding doors, uh, windows all around, uh, rotating seats. So it's got the, the swivel seats in there, the factory swivel seats. Factory yep. swivel. No, sorry, it's not factory. They factory swivel. Uh, oh, they won't do it. Aftermarket swivels, yep. And uh, so that's from the factory. So from the factory, we have the bamboo green, the diff lock. It's a TDI 400 or a TDI 450? It's the uh, 132 kilowatt. 132 kilowatt TDI 400 Euro 5 motor. Uh, four motion with a diff lock, as we said. And it's got windows all around, factory glass all around, yes. and twin sliding doors. Any other options on it from, from the factory? Uh, reversing camera, extra battery, but don't bother. Okay, reversing <laughs> camera is great. Extra battery needs uh, needs some review. On the outside of the vehicle, we've got uh, we've got a, a pretty cool nudge bar with some additional lighting. Steady lights, it Steady. looks like. Yeah. So we've got, uh, just tell us a bit of the reasoning behind uh, this configuration. Why you like that? Uh, long distance driving lights and broad uh, broad spectrum um, light bars. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. So, uh, so that covers uh, both scenarios there. And what have we done with the uh, with, tires with the tyres and wheels here? What have we the got tires here? Tyres are a maximum diameter that that will comfortably fit. And, yep. Uh, so we've got two forty five, sixty five, seventeens. Yep. Running on seventeen by eight. That's it. Rims. Correct. And uh, are these the Sun Racer rims? Sun Racer. The Sun Racer rims. And we've got hand cooks for the record. We've got hand cooked Dynapro ATs. So obviously a commercially rated tyre with commercial load ratings on this. Um, and just while we're looking at this part of the vehicle, we've also got something a little bit different that we don't normally see here. These are some uh, fender flares, aren't yeah, they're they? They're fender flares from uh, the UK. From the UK? GM mouldings. From GM mouldings in the UK. And then here, it looks like some uh, additional. Uh, guards here, but it's actually not, is it? What, what have we got no, here? it's just wrap. It's a wrap. Okay, it's a wrap. Now, we have a badge on our fuel cap here, hinting at something else going on. What's going on here? Uh, air suspension. Air suspension. So, so, so tell at, us a bit at, about that. At the time that I was looking, I, I couldn't see uh, getting a ride height just by using springs. So the springs were perhaps going to be insufficient? As far as I was concerned, it was going to be insufficient. Yes. Uh, and the other point of view is that uh, I can elevate the vehicle when I need the extra height. Yep. So I'm not uh, overloading the uh, CVs. Yep, so you can elevate as required, That's put right. back to, to, to a more regular That's ride height, right. to not all, stress the CVs permanently. And also a four corner uh, adjustment process for camping. Um, ah, for so four corner adjustment so we can do a bit of, in a sense, self leveling yes. rather than having to get in the leveling trumpets, for example. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. Maybe we can have a look at that on the inside in a minute. But just to, for the record, what is your ride height range now? What's uh, the range in the height? The range is from standard to around about 90 mil high. From standard to about 90 millimetres. Part of that is the tyres. And part of that includes the lift yeah. through the tyres. So we've got a bit of lift through our suspension, in this case air suspension, as well as lift through the yeah. tyres, these uh, uh, 7 inch tyres as, as well. Okay. Standard controller. For the air suspension. The air suspension, so you've got uh, programmable ride heights. So that's, uh, I've got it on preset high, then I've got alternative uh, a high preset and then a low preset here. Uh, and this button is all down, so you can take it all the way down. This button mm -hmm. is all the way up, take it all yep. the way up. And each one of these is each corner. I see. If you look very closely, there's little indentations for each corner there. So you can individually adjust um, each each corner, say if you're camping in your level ground. And what are these values showing us at the moment? Uh, so that's the... how much air is in uh, each, each bag. Each bag. Okay, so that's like forward left and forward right and rear that's left it. and rear that's right. It. Okay, and then perfect. the app on the phone is pretty much identical. Okay. Which allows you to uh, operate uh, away from the vehicle so you can see what's going on in order to yeah. self-level. Fantastic. How good is that? And that's from Airlift. And that works with these particular bags? Yeah. Well, they'd work with any bag. Any bags, okay? Any bags. Very good. So, got an initial water tank it looks like here in this particular vehicle, is that 100 right? 100 litres. An extra 100 litres, and that's an underbody tank? No, it's inside. Inside, okay, not an underbody tank. Alright, on this side here we can see a Fiamma uh, awning. 
F forty five S two point six meters with the uh, with the um, with the um, uh, brand track drop. here, the brand drop track there. That's right, which is fantastic. But we also have an elevating roof. Uh, tell us about the elevating roof. Well, the whole process with uh, establishing a flat bed in the back of the car. Uh, and having an elevated rear section meant that it uh, made far more sense to access the roof from the rear, so that's yes. why it's front elevated. Okay, so we have, yeah, so, so that's why we've got that configuration. This is a, a Rhino short wheelbase it's roof. A Rhino, yes. That's right, and did you uh, choose this colour for the roof? Uh, I did. Yep, so that's a, like a reflex silver type of colour, I guess, so it contrasts really well with the, um, with, the, with, the, with the bamboo green. On the roof, let's have a quick look at the roof while it's up from this configuration. Uh, we've got some, some racks on this particular roof, in quite, quite a number of them. So on this particular roof we have uh, solar panels at the front. How many watts in that? Uh, 220. 220 watts at the front. I'm probably doing a good job right now of charging the, the battery. Uh, and then we've got, what have we got? One, two, three, four racks in the track. Well, there are really three racks and, and one additional uh, rack to uh, contain, uh, to hold the, those bags. Okay. So, I see, yes, I see. Yep, we've got one underneath there. So three racks plus the auxiliary at the very Because I, I originally had a different layout and I yes. wasn't going to change everything because I wanted to shift to the rear wood so I could install the, uh, the solar. Understand. And then on the roof at the moment as well are uh, some, some windsurfing sails. That's correct? it, roof sails and masts. What, what weight do you think you've got on the roof at the moment? Oh, an extra... Extra 20 kgs with the sails, the racks, yeah. and the solar panels. And, and then so. once the boards go on, uh, another another uh, 14. Another 14, so yeah. it's probably got up to about 35 additional kilograms yes. on the roof, which is being obviously well held up by the... Well, by the after having been re-gassed, re yes. After having been re-gassed, okay, very good. And let's have a look inside the vehicle, if that's okay. Won't see much from there. Won't see much from here. Let's go around the other side. We'll come around the back here. So let's come around this side here, Matthew. Okay, so we're twin sliding doors, as we've just just observed. And uh, Andre, tell us a little bit about this uh, this particular cabinet. Oh, I I kind of like the fact that being in Australia, we have the climate that we don't need any furniture inside the vehicle. Yes. Thereby restricting the size of the bed. Yep. So to establish a a, a flat bed to yes. sleep on, especially yes. in a short wheelbase. Yes. Uh, again, the rotating seats facilitate that yes. being a short wheelbase. So the whole kitchen um, slides out and includes a fridge. Yes. Uh, includes food storage and pantry. Yep. Um, I mean cookware, cooking, yep. and a tub that acts as, even as a, uh, a laundry sink. Understand. And you've made this? Yes. Yep, fantastic, uh, Andre. It looks really, really nicely nicely prepared. And then underneath we have a 100 litre water tank. So the water tanks are on the inside, 100 litres. And then additional, additional storage. Brilliant. And of course you've achieved a full width double bed. That's right. Which is which is really good to see, and some great storage on the uh, storage on the side windows there as well. And a little uh, flip down table here. So on this side we have a flip down table as well. Let's have a look around the back here, Andre. So what I immediately notice at the back is uh, this really lovely curvature matching the curvature of the of the rear section. Very good. And we have here, we have here the uh, great storage for all your outdoor equipment. That's it. For easy access to all of that. And good to see you've got the lifting tailgate, not the not the barn doors, because you've then got the protection of the tailgate as well, which is outstanding. And what do we have up here? It's a curious little. Oh, there's just, item. A, just a lamp. Just an extra lamp. Yeah. So a nice little magnetic yeah. lamp. Fantastic with yellow light or white light. That's uh, uh, very very good. All right, and you're here today to pick up some, some recovery points I for the van as well. Am, so yes. um, that's to overcome, in a sense, the limitation of the tow hook. The tow hook is good to yeah. offer bitumen surface be towed onto a truck, exactly. for example. But if you're stuck in deep sand, yeah. you need something a little bit more robust than yes. that. So well, I mean, it's the, I haven't, uh, I have no cause to. Uh, 
I suppose it's proportionate. More yeah. than anything else. That's right. A little that's bit of Murphy's Law there. If you're yeah. unprepared, yeah. <laughs> fate will befall you. If you're well prepared, you'll probably never ever use the exactly. recovery twice. Ever. So, uh, so Andre, thanks very much for coming no, no, out to, to, to Combi Life Central pleasure. and Vanessa Mobile Camping today. And great to have a look at your van. I'm Thank sure you very people much. watch this with great interest. Thanks for coming. Thank you.